Kensington Avenue, a word that encapsulates hell itself. With every step I take along these familiar streets, memories of my days as an addict come flooding back. These very streets, where I once slept without a care, have become a haunting reminder of the grip fentanyl had on me. It rendered me a puppet, manipulating my every move. In those desperate times, I couldn't afford to be selective about where I found rest, for fentanyl dominated my existence. The nightlife on Kensington Avenue teeters on the precipice of life and death. Each moment is fraught with uncertainty, as the demons of this place emerge at night, preying upon vulnerable souls. Those of us who call this Inferno our home understand that salvation is a rare commodity. The chilling reality is that tales like the woman found inside a suitcase rarely make the news. Her life violently extinguished and her body callously discarded, like she meant nothing. The authorities remain clueless about her case, which, sadly, is just another statistic in this forsaken land. Homicides on Kensington Avenue receive scant attention because the victims are merely attributed to drug-related deaths. That's how they are recorded in the police reports. In the eyes of those who protect and serve, drug cases hold less value than those in affluent communities. As I navigate the nocturnal chaos, the devastation of my former self surrounds me. Fentanyl had stripped me of my identity, leaving me in a state of perpetual despair. Now, as I walk these streets, my gaze is fixed on the hope of finding someone who desires help, someone who yearns to escape the clutches of this merciless abyss. Addiction is a difficult and complex disease that can have devastating consequences for individuals and families. However, it is important to know that there is hope for those struggling with addiction. Recovery is possible and there are many resources available to help individuals overcome their addiction and lead happy, healthy, drug-free lives. One of the most important things that we can do to prevent addiction is to educate young people about the dangers of drugs. By providing accurate information about the risks associated with drug use, we can empower young people to make informed decisions about their health and well-being. It is important to know that addiction is not a choice, but it is a treatable disease. Seeking help and support is the first step towards recovery, and there are many treatment options available, including medication-assisted treatment, behavioral therapy, and support groups. Recovery from addiction is a lifelong journey, but it is one that is